everyone and welcome to another edition of Brazil Bound presented by Castrol GTX High Mileage. I'm Simon Borg together with Jesse Marsh and with one round of matches in this group stage now officially in the books we're going to look at the three surprises thus far in the tournament and it all starts with the one that really made waves. The defending champion Spain falling 5-1 in their first game. The most lopsided loss ever by a defending champion in a World Cup. Yeah, I think the manner in which they lost is what really surprised all of us. And that's a big question moving forward is, will Spain be able to reestablish what they've been about for the last six years, or will they look more like an old and defeated team? I think one thing they need to consider moving forward is, do they take Diego Costa out and do they put in Cesc Fabregas and get back to the ghost number nine that made them so successful in the 2012 Euros? The other one is, which Iker Casillas will we see? And I don't see Vicente del Bosque taking him off. I know there's some calling for Iker Casillas to be replaced. He had a really uh, a nightmare against the Netherlands. We move on, though, to a real David versus Goliath surprise, and that is Costa Rica beating former champions Uruguay, a team that finished fourth in the last World Cup. Now, for us in the CONCACAF region, this is not a big surprise, but to the rest of the world, it shocked a lot of people. No, we know how talented this group is, and we know how successful that they've been in qualifying so it's not a huge surprise but one of the things that was a little bit surprising is the tactics that they employed to be successful against Uruguay so they played a version of a five back line two midfielders and three up top and I think what really made that formation tick was the three guys up top in Ruiz Campbell and Bolaños and their mobility and skill and the way that they made Uruguay have to deal with all of their talent really tested that Uruguayan back line and if they can employ that in the future in the, in the rest of the group I think they can continue to be successful. Campbell looking like a real superstar in this tournament. Now he's gonna have to do it against Italy or England. They need one more result to really make it through. Do you see a result in there? I think it'll be, those are two really tough matches, and this could be a, considered another group of death. But right now, I wouldn't count them out. I think their goalie's playing great. They've got confidence off of this win. I think if they stick to what they did well here, that there's no reason why they can't emerge from this group. And we move on now to a group that features the United States, Group G, and Portugal. They are one of the favorites in this group. They faced another favorite, Germany, two established European powers. But Portugal came out on the wrong end. For nothing, they lose to Germany. No one saw Cristiano Ronaldo going down like that. Again, the surprise is the manner in which the game went down. I don't think that anyone expected that Ronaldo and the rest of the attacking pieces from Portugal wouldn't really be able to get themselves going and establish the attack. Part of it was due to how good Germany was with the ball that Portugal never found the game, but certainly another part was the fact that they imploded. And so, moving forward, especially against the U.S. in this next game, which Portugal are we going to see? And I know U.S. fans are giddy because Pepe won't be in the game. There are some injuries to deal with, but keep in mind, Portugal had these events go against them. There was a penalty kick that some disputed. So we'll see what happens in that game. But Jesse, three, three surprises we picked out so far. Did you expect more? When I've looked at World Cups in the past and I looked at this World Cup, I don't expect to see that many upsets. So you'll see little surprises in here, but usually the teams that have the better players that play in better games that have more experience wind up winning those games for a reason. So I, it's not that we won't see any in round two or in future moments in this tournament, but I expect it to go a lot according to what you would think. And from the ones we just saw, what's your number one? I, I think Spain losing the way that they did. Nobody saw that coming, and I don't think we're going to see it again. Well, you have Jesse's pick, Spain, the biggest upset. What do you think? Let us know what your biggest surprise of the first round of matches is in the comments section below. And keep it right here on MLSsoccer.com for complete coverage of the 2014 World Cup on Brazil Bound, presented by Castrol GTX High Mileage.